Hey guys, my name is Eric Hood, and today I will showing you how to create a nice 3D menu for your game. So this is what it will look like. It's quite basic actually. All I did was get some PBR textures from the toolbox, PBR rocks, and just got, grab some animated water from it as well. But the real main components are these. These are basically just blocks, and it kind of works like a GUI scene, but I'll show you what it looks like in game. So in game, this is what it looks like. You've got good blue with lighting effects, depth of field, and just an overall really good looking scene. Going to settings, tweens over to this page. Going to credits, we're also tween over to here. But yeah, you can edit this however you like, or show you how you can do that in a bit. So, like I said, these are the main components, and what would be these are basically just different buttons, and these are literally just parts that are set to fully transparent. They can collide, and they are also anchored. These are basically the same because I just copied and pasted the play block uh, but just resized it and re-angled it. The real magic happens in these two. These basically are where the camera will be. I'll leave a command in the description and the comments and even in this script actually to what the command is. You can run a command by going into this view and pressing I think command bar right here. You can just paste in the command and then it will spawn a part to where your current camera is and it will look towards this. So whatever you want the game to look like, you just have to position your studio camera here. So let's say I want it like this. I'll just paste in the command and boom, uh, it's done. I also have to name this main cam part and put this in main components. I'll leave the model down in the description as well. But the real magic happens in started UI. Basically, these are screen GUIs, and oh well, not screen GUIs. These are part GUIs or surface GUIs, and they have this thing called an Adorni. So you can see that this back, this back uh, block, it has nothing underneath it. But this back button frame, this is basically the thing that shows up on the block. And I can set this to whatever I want. It's just the Adorni. This isn't very complicated. It's literally just a screen GUI. Underneath it, I have a text button. Underneath the, the credits, I have a text button. And underneath the credits label, which is this one, I have a text label. Credits tab, I have a frame. And then a frame inside of the frame. And then a UI list. And these are the. This is just how I like to program it. If you want a full in-depth tutorial on GUI, I'll be happy to do that. And here's the local script that makes it all work. Basically all of these are the variables. This sets the camera type to scriptable so that you can place it wherever you want. And it sets the camera's C-frame or the camera's position and rotation to main cam part. This makes it so that the player can't move while they're in the menu. And now this is just the lighting effects which I, if I go into here you'll see these 3d men main menu depth of field and 3d main menu sunrise it just enables them and then this is basically the sway inside of the main menu so when you move your cursor this is the what happens when you press play it basically makes you not in menu so this doesn't work it turns off the lighting effects and makes the camera type to the roblox custom and also unanchors it that's the important part now back button it's basically just the same thing except for the fact that it tweens towards the main cam part c frame so all this is is tween service i've i've covered this in a previous video i think it was when animating using c frames but this is the time it takes the style the main like the position and it just this just plays it it waits 1.5 seconds and then makes this true it can be pressed again this is the same but it just create it just tweens to main cam ma frame cam part and this tweens this makes the settings label not appear and the credits tab appear and this is vice versa and this is basically the same thing but just the opposite way around so yeah that is basically how you make this really cool looking 3d main menu um, you can find these effects like even these rocks and these textures on toolbox 
as well as that once you're in your explorer uh, you need to enable screening which I believe is in here streaming enable turn that to false so that you can have your main menu all the way over here and your spawn point over there so yeah that's basically today's video I would like to say something recently we have hit a hundred subscribers which is absolutely insane to me I just want to thank you I thank the discord if you have any problems also give me a comment or go on discord but yeah I just really want to thank you for all the support I've gotten. I mean, 100 subscribers to be, that's insane. I mean, I only started this YouTube channel like how, how long ago? Like two, three months ago. So, yeah, like really thank you. Thank you guys a lot. Um, I don't know how else to put it. It's just thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. I'll try and sort out my irregular posting schedule. But yeah, guess that's it from me. Uh, thank you for watching.